customers abroad that have a, a global footprint and that might benefit uh, from uh, a much weaker dollar relative to stronger currencies abroad yeah. as overseas economies outperform, particularly in, in the emerging markets. So the euro has temporarily been weaker than the dollar. I believe that that period of relative uh, weakness is going to end and the dollar will resume its descent even against the euro. Now we've been buying, uh, personally I've been buying, particularly in the, in the mining stocks, which I think have a lot of value. The guy Stream investors still haven't even uh, taken positions yet. Uh, gold and gold stocks have been climbing this wall of worry for a long time, and I think we have a ways to go even before we start to get you know, the manic the phase of the bull market. As we speak, the U.S. dollar has hit a new low for the year, and I think that this last bull market in the dollar, which went from 1995 to the present, is over. And remember, I'm not only the heckler president, but I'm also a client. Anything in dollars, even if you've got dollars stuffed in your mattress, you're going to lose because they're not going to buy you what you expect. So you have to recognize that the biggest casualty is going to be the U.S. dollar and any debt instruments denominated in dollars. When the dollar collapses, and it's not just going to go down 10 percent, I'm talking 50, 60, 70 percent or more decline in the value of the dollar. It's, it's going to send interest rates into the stratosphere. Tonight. <laughs> What's your outlook for 2011? You're painting a fairly big doomsday scenario by these hey. notes. I mean, hey, everything I, in here except for the world coming to an end. I'm not painting it. I'm just seeing it clearly. You know, the dollar to go down and the cycle continues until eventually we have a all or full currency sovereign debt crisis where you see the dollar plunging. We have runaway inflation or hyperinflation, which is going to be far worse uh, than the collapse that we would have if we did the right thing and just let it all uh, implode. Six months ago. Like for when, inflation. Well, are you like going to tell me that? that? He's talking about treasuries and how the Chinese would no longer buy. They would step away. Peter, you're on the line? I'm here. I heard a rumor you wanted to buy treasuries. <laughs> if I had any, I'd sell them to you. <laughs> are you short treasuries, Peter? Actually, I am. You are. and then Peter's going to respond. Look, there's a lot of people who like to hear themselves talk out there. The bottom line is, Peter, first of all, where are the Chinese going to go? You're talking about rates are backing up here. Where aren't they going up? You show me a country around the world where rates aren't going up. You want to be in Europe? And you tell no, me what happens when the 10-year when the goes over 4%, the Chinese will be first in line to buy the 10-year. You tell no, me they won't. Rate, where they're, are rates going to go, Peter? Are rates are really going to go up to 6% next year in this world, in this environment? Yeah, they're gonna, where are you, you know going to buy it's a better deal than Treasuries at 4%? Treasuries are a lousy deal. I think, look, I think rates what are, are going to go through. You've, you've always got a lot to say against the dollar and the U.S. government. And I think the reason that the Fed wants to buy Treasuries it's not because they think it's going to help the economy. It's because they want to replace the demand that no longer exists. The Treasury Department, which he presides over, sold $35 billion worth of four-week bills at zero, zero percent interest, uh, and it was oversubscribed by $268 billion. So this whole notion of deficit reduction clearly a lie, an, a flat-out lie, uh, and coming from Treasury Secretary Geithner, he knows this, come on, I mean, there's no way he does not know this, there's no way he does not see this, that the market is throwing money uh, at the government, 
In fact, people are now paying the government to own treasuries as opposed to getting paid. Um, if there's any crisis, come on, if there's any crisis, the crisis is there's not enough of these safe assets, government securities that people want to own, people are clamoring for the world over, okay? Then we see Europe. Europe, where austerity has been in place for over a year and a half, economies are collapsing, unemployment is soaring through the roof, and what is their solution to their debt problem? More austerity, which by the way, we see the austerity is actually creating higher deficits. So Einstein's definition of insanity, right? Repeating the same thing over and over and over again and getting a different result. Clearly a lie there, a lie that's being perpetrated on the populations of Europe, uh, outrageous, okay? People are going to lose money, not only investors, but depositors are going to lose money as well. Uh, what about all that dollar printing? The debasing of the dollar, remember that? There's a lot of people who like to hear themselves talk out there. The bottom line is, Peter, first of all... No, I don't think there's any chance over time that I'm wrong. I just don't no see how that's possible. No chance at all. Possible, Zero but, percent, Peter. But they're not going to stay <laughs> low. Look all at right. what's happening. Okay. <laughs> If I had any, I'd sell them to you. And he's real estate. So, you know, well, that's the way what I'm you doing. can best do it is T.O. Claymore. Is he still with us? Yeah. Well, I've got to interject some sense. I know, I know. It's just a TV show.